Did you cause a narcissistic injury? A narcissistic injury occurs when the narcissist's elevated self-image is threatened. When they feel like their true self has been revealed. This happens when they feel like they have lost favour or a position of power or honour. When they feel like they have lost acceptance. When their hidden motivations or behaviours have been revealed. A narcissistic injury can also occur when you challenge their egotistical behaviour. When you question their practice of thinking and talking about themselves excessively. In many ways, the narcissist has set themselves up to have their ego bruised. They have this undue sense of self-importance and self-centeredness. So anything you do that makes them feel irrelevant or less important will cause a narcissistic injury because they're self-absorbed. They care too much about themselves rather than the feelings or needs of other people, which is why they always have to be the center of attention. They always demand for you to focus on them. And whenever you have other priorities, they will feel like they are unimportant, which will cause a narcissistic injury. Any time that the narcissist feels like they are not important or relevant, it will cause a narcissistic injury. Even if you're just taking time to practice self-care, that is enough to do that. They're like big babies. They need the spotlight to be on them at all times. And if it's not, they will throw a temper tantrum. They will cause drama and chaos. They will try to hurt you. They will do whatever it takes to get you to focus on them again. When they experience a narcissistic injury, it will be followed by narcissistic rage. But it will not always be displayed as open aggression. Sometimes they can be passive aggressive or give you the silent treatment. So it can be difficult to tell whether or not you have caused a narciss narcissistic injury. But I have found three things that will almost always bruise the narcissist's fragile ego. And three behaviours that narcissists engage in following this threat to their elevated self-image. So even if you don't see any open aggression, these signs will reveal to you whether or not you have caused a narciss narcissistic injury. One, when you expose the narcissist, When you reveal the narcissist's true characteristic nature, it will cause a narcissistic injury. They may experience fear at first, but this will soon be followed by narcissistic rage. They will fear that you are going to expose them to other people, and this will compel them to talk to other people about you. They will want to shut you down. So they will start a smear campaign. They will assassinate your character. They will do whatever it takes to destroy your reputation. 
so that you are no longer seen as a credible source of information. There is nothing more important to a narcissist than their image reputation, so they will go all out to, to, to protect it. Two, when you reject the narcissist, whether you reject their proposal or idea or them as a person, this will cause a narcissistic injury. The narcissist always has to be right. They believe that they are the bearers of truth and they always need to feel wanted and accepted. If this does not happen, it will threaten their false image and cause a narcissistic injury. When this happens, they will criticize, criticize your ideas or opinions. They will try to discredit you. They will target your vulnerabilities and weaknesses and point out your faults, mistakes, flaws and imperfections. They will try to divert the focus onto you so that you're looking at yourself in a, neg in a negative light. Whenever you reject their ideas or them as a person, they will always find a way to twist it around so that you feel like they're rejecting you. Three, when the narcissist feels irrelevant. When they feel like they're no longer relevant, this will cause a narcissistic injury. They have to feel like they are significant and important. They have to feel like they are closely connected or appropriate to the situation, as though they have a useful function or purpose. Otherwise, it will harm their false image. It will make them feel worthless and insignificant, which will cause a narcissistic injury. Instead of making the necessary adjustments so that they could actually be something, they will instead try to make you feel irrelevant. They will treat you with contempt, as though you're worthless and beneath their consideration. These are three of the main things that cause a narcissistic injury. I hope that they have been helpful to you. I am now going to share with you three signs that you have caused a narcissistic injury. One. When they try to make you envious or jealous. If you are an empathic person, when you are around an injured narcissist, you will look at yourself and question if maybe you are envious or jealous. Which is actually what the narcissist wants you to do. They know that you have the ability to self-reflect. They know that you're going to take it upon yourself before you question or confront them. So they will use this to their advantage. But whenever a narcissist tries to make you envious or jealous of someone or something, that is a sign that you have caused a narcissistic injury. They're doing that because they're trying to project their emotions onto you. They feel envious and jealous of you. And because they're already tuned into that experience, that is what they then try to transfer onto you. But you should know that there is nothing to be envious or jealous of. 
narcissists are fake manipulative people you wouldn't want anything that they have they're just good at simulating something of value because they've spent their entire lives living vicariously for other people who do have what they want so they are experts at portraying this to you because they've spent so many years of their life studying it but whenever the narcissist tries to make you feel envy or jealousy or any other negative emotion this is a sign that you have caused a narcissistic injury. Two, when they try to expose you. When the narcissist tries to expose you, this is another sign that you have caused a narcissistic injury. If you have made a fault or mistake, they will greatly exaggerate it. In some situations, they will just make it up. They're doing this to take the focus off of them. Maybe they believe that you know something about them. They feel exposed. So now they're trying to expose you. When you threaten to expose a narcissist, it will cause a narcissistic injury. And they will do whatever it takes to protect it. Three. When they reject you. Whenever a narcissist rejects you. It's because they feel like you have rejected them. They feel like you do not honour or value their presence. They feel like they're not good enough for you. Or maybe you did openly reject them or their proposals or ideas. And this then caused a narcissistic injury. Which then results in them trying to project their feelings of being unwanted onto you. Narcissists cannot regulate their own emotions. They need you to do that for them. So whenever a negative emotion comes to the surface, they project it onto you. Because it's too painful for them to deal with. But whenever a narcissist makes you feel unwanted or unworthy of something, that is a sign that you have caused a narcissistic injury. Did you cause a narcissistic injury? You will know when you have caused a narcissistic injury because they will start acting differently towards you. They will make you feel fear or shame. They will make you feel like you're not good enough because that's exactly how they feel. However you feel when you are around a narcissist is likely to be how they feel. And it is likely to be how they want you to feel. They know that you are an empath. So they expect you to identify with it. They expect you to take on those emotions as your own. This video is here to serve you by giving you the awareness that these emotions do not belong to you. You cannot make a person feel an emotion that you do not already feel yourself. Emotions are very contagious. So whenever you feel down around a narcissist, realize that this has nothing to do with you. It's not something that you have to respond to. And spend more time with yourself. Tune into your own emotions. 
and you will notice that you begin to feel a lot better. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coachingatnarcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.